there's several stages of shock. Um, when we're looking at an animal who's in shock, most of the time we're able to easily recognize it based off of simple clinical signs. And so the, the first signs that we'll recognize are when an animal is uh, in the compensatory stage or the first stage of shock. Uh, and generally what happens is uh, we get those red mucous membranes, bounding pulses, uh, a high heart rate, sometimes even a high blood pressure, which is probably an under-recognized sign. Um, and fast forward a little bit to the last stage of shock or the late decompensatory stage of shock. Um, this is an animal who, who's almost dead, um, right? So we're experiencing some really uh, severe clinical signs. Their mucous membranes are gray or ashen. They have no pulses or no blood pressure. Their heart rate is starting to slow down because they have used up all their available resources or compensatory mechanisms um, to, to help sort of combat the situation that they're in. And then we have the, the middle stage of shock or the early decompensatory stage. And that really is, we'll, we'll sometimes get a, a mix of clinical signs from the, from the early stage, the compensatory stage, and the late decompensatory. And it gives us this mix, whereas you know, we have that animal who is uh, clearly in shock based on mucous membranes and blood pressure, but maybe his heart rate seems a little bit slower than normal. So we have those three stages that we can really easily recognize on a, on a physical exam um, and hopefully identify right off the bat when an animal presents to us.